Washington, the Air Force marks its first birthday. General Hoyt Vandenberg tells Air Secretary Symington of the progress and the big news made by our expanding aerial arm during the year. Mr. Secretary, your confidence in the United States Air Force is being justified. It is now an organization of more than 400,000 trained men and women. It has been organized to provide the best possible air defense of the United States. In maintaining the airlift to Berlin, which provides that city of two and a half million people with food, fuel, and necessary supplies, our airmen are showing the world what the United States Air Force can do in making air power a real force for peace. In Seattle, providing the punctuation for General Vandenberg's words, B-50 Superports take shape on the Boeing assembly line. Over 200 are under construction and additional hundreds are planned. The 50, successor to the B-29 of Tokyo fame, will serve as the standard long-range bomber of the Air Force. Though similar in general design, it is faster and capable of longer range and heavier hitting power. Maximum load, 10 tons. Now begin test flight for the sleek new bombers. Before being delivered to the Air Forces, they must prove their wings. And here they do, against the scenic backdrop of Cascade Mountain. Air power is peace power. Beauty queens float in on a high tide of fortitude to buy for the title of Miss America of 1948. Chosen in regional contests, they converge on Atlantic City in a dazzling display of luscious curves and lovely faces. From across the border comes a delegate that's all charm. And far-off island groups send ambassadors of beauty to make up a total of 54 contestants for the crowd. Nothing is ever perfect, however. There's always one in a barrel full of pippins. Her mother called this one the apple of her eye, and it must have spoiled her. The finals bring out the cream of the crop, and it's muddy tough going trying to select the winner. There's one thing sure, the Georgia peach crop turned out well this year, and the Wild West is truly wild over its harvest of beauty. Being crowned by last year's winner, Barbara Jo Walker, is Beatrice Bella Shop of Minnesota. Hail to the new Miss America.